Welcome Cancer. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Lover's Oracle. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a love reading, but if it is, it is. Okay, Mystical Wisdom card deck and the Light Seer's Tarot. Alrighty, Cancer, let's get into it. Okay, so three cards for Cancer, please. First two cards. Wow, that was quick. One more card for Cancer, please. Oh, dang, it fell on the floor. Might be a moment. Okay, Cancer, the first card we have here is criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Beautiful, and that goes for anyone in your life, okay? The next card here is wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. And the third card we have here is beautiful. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Interesting, Cancer. Okay, so let's have a look at the first card. Two cards for this card for Cancer, please. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magi magically transform. Thing two, Cancer, is to also accept yourself as you truly are, right? Because if we're criticizing other people, it's important for us to look at, are we doing the same to us? Okay, so first card out here is Archangel Raphael. So this is uh, a great angel to come, to call on, sorry, to um, for healing, okay? And that could be healing the relationship, healing your own inner critic, right? Your own inner talk. Provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit, yes. Okay, so Cancer, I don't know what the second card is yet. It's upside down, but let's get two cards for Archangel Raphael, Raphael please. Two cards, Archangel Raphael. Okay. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This is definitely a new way of thinking, you know, cutting out all this rubbish here that is not serving you, that's keeping you up at night. Okay, this could also be the thoughts that are weighing heavy on you about somebody else in your life, be it your partner or anyone else. Okay, um, these critical thoughts, it's finding a new way to think. Okay, for example, if your partner does not wipe their crumbs up off the bench and it ticks you off and you're like, oh my God, you're so lazy, whatever, right, this is just an example, then it's really important for you to look at how you're approaching that, okay, um, should they wipe their crumbs up, 100%, yes they should, but are they going to want to be ridiculed and put down for it, probably not, think of it as, as if it's you who's done that, and how would you like to be approached about that particular thing, right? Um, so that's really important for you to really sift through your mind to find another way to um, to approach things. And that is just a kind of like a little bit of a lame example, but, you know, it gives you an idea, right? Um, okay, so the next card we have here is resilience. Rise above tribulations. The other thing I want to say about this, and, and I guess with this card here, is, you know, when you're rising above it here, Cancer, it's really what, what's important, what's important in life? Is it the crumbs on the bench? Or is there, you know, more important things to life than that? Because
because if you really thought about it, if your partner wasn't here and something happened to them, often what would happen, or whoever else it is in your life that may be, you know, getting to you a bit, it's really then, you know, those are the sorts of things that we are like, oh gosh, if only, you know, I miss them not leaving their crumbs on the bench, you know, those silly little things that I, you know, moaned about or whatever, um, you know, in the bigger scheme of things, what is really important, okay, um, so resilience, rise, rise above tribulations, two cards for resilience, please. I think that's two. Yeah, it is. I, I, I want to say here, Cancer, though, this is not a reason to put up with any abusive situations. Okay, um, be very mindful that, you know, of, of what it is that, um, that you are tolerating. Okay, we have the Five of Cups here and we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this, this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning in love. Some of you may have... Um, been through an ending of a relationship but this could also be actually focusing on the things that aren't working rather than the things that aren't are working I want to say here cancer to go to um you know the point of when you first met and all the things that you fell in love with and um and enjoyed about that person and even this if this is a friendship or um you know, whoever it is you're dealing with, looking at what it is, is it that you were, that you were attracted to in that person, you know, so that you can come back to that, okay, and and start igniting that within you again. Also, looking at what is in your cup, because if it is all these thoughts and criticisms about yourself, then of course this is what you are going to to attract. Okay, so really looking at a different way of approaching the situation and of thinking about it too. Okay, so next card we have, wait, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course. Okay, so two cards for wait, please. For cancer, two cards for wait, one, two. Okay, so... First card here, we have confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. Yes, Cancer, yes. And maybe this is the thing. Maybe it's a matter of sitting there and counting to 10 or even 100 um, to let yourself settle. Maybe you need to take yourself for a walk. You know, if something's really, really, really annoyed you, maybe it's just an opportune time to sit back and go within yourself. What has annoyed you? More importantly, why has it annoyed you? If they didn't wipe their crumbs up off the bench, is it really about the crumbs? Or is it cancer that you feel disrespected? Because they're not making the effort and putting the effort in to, to you know, keep things, the house tidy? Or, you know, is this something actually that... That gets to you because there's an underlying thing for you about it okay confrontation that's not to say it's all your fault or you should take responsibility for everyone um, but you know really really pondering on those sorts of things because often you know we can our emotions are, are showing us where things are highlighted uh, for us to work on, the things that are highlighted for us to work on. We have the Knight of Swords here and we have the Hanged Man. Yeah, not rushing in, taking your time to reflect, taking your time to see things from a different perspective, like I have just said here. Okay, so the next card we have here is competition. Summon courage and self-confidence. Yeah, I feel like this is, this is kind of like... Cancer actually putting less focus on the external and what people were around you were doing and bringing it more into yourself here. Um, it's interesting because I don't feel like the word competition necessarily applies, although it could for some of you. It could be that some 
it feels as though some people are trying to compete with you in a certain way. Um, the other thing I want to say about that, actually, after saying that this didn't apply, now I'm getting all this information, but anyhow, moving on, um, is this, that sometimes we can look at others and compare ourselves as to how their relationship is going and feeling like we have to keep up with that. And as though there's the sort of like, oh, well, you know, mine's actually better than yours because of this or, you know, whatever it is, okay. Um, yeah, but, I, you know, the fact of the matter is it's not a race to get to anywhere. What it is, you, you're much better off, Cancer, looking at what it is that you need to work on in, eternal, internally as well as, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with needs to do the same. And then you are ahead of the game. Not that it is about getting ahead of the game, but for your own selves and your own growth and your own journey. Right? That's the path you want to be on. And remember how it says, don't wait. He is running towards this motorbike to take off. Okay? And this is saying, don't rush. Did I say don't wait before? This is saying, wait. Anyway, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I feel like this, because there's this feeling of wanting to just get it over and done with and it's like, oh, come on already. I'm so sick of this. Like, hurry up. Um, but it is a matter of tapping in to what it is that, you know, this impatience um, within you and what that is about okay so summon the courage and self-confidence competition two cards for competition for cancer please okay two cards for competition for cancer please one wow Cool cards, cool cards, Cancer, sun. This is what you're heading towards here, the sun. Look at this, the Hierophant, he knows. Like, this is such a blessing. This is such a blessing. Like, this is happiness, man. What an absolute gift. I feel like... <sighs> Let me just gather myself, because I... This is... The, the thing is, sorry... <laughs> Once you come into the truth of your existence and the path that you're on, you will be away laughing. You'll laugh at these little things that you have a little conniption about, right? Um, because at the end of the day, there's so much more to it. You know, it's not about these little things. It's about the bigger picture. You know, and here's the thing. This is, you know, about actually switching timelines here, I think. And, um, you know, really focusing on, because we all want this. We all want to get to this joy and happiness and be the best that we can be, right? But we can sometimes go around and around and around um, trying to get there and wondering why it's not working yet. So, you know, the Hierophant, he doesn't do that. He sits there, he knows the path, he knows the staircase, and he laughs, you know, because he knows that he, he doesn't have to try. He doesn't have to put in the effort, right? He has the wisdom to know the direction he is heading. And he laughs in the face of adversity because he's got this. This is what he's heading towards. This is who he is. Nothing brings him down. And I feel like for you, Cancer, it's the same. These silly, you know, if you sit on, you know, it's not wiping the crumbs off, off the bench. The Hierophant will laugh and say, wonderful, this is fantastic. Because it's showing you what needs to be worked on. It's showing you the triggers. It's highlighting those for you. And this is what helps you to proceed on your path in order to get to where you want to go. 
Okay, so next card here. This is so beautiful. Right, two cards for this card here, please, for Cancer. You may not always understand why certain things happen, like people leaving their crumbs on the bed. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Love it. One more card for Cancer, please, for this card. One more card for Cancer. Okay, so Cancer. <coughs> Excuse me. Self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. Now, let me be clear here. This is not saying go and take off on someone, you know, then just leave them in the dirt. That's not saying that. This is about you <sighs> creating your own foundation in your life to move forward, not relying on someone else, not believing if he only did or if she only did this, that and this, I'd be happy. It's not in their control. It's up to us to make ourselves happy and someone else to make themselves happy in order to come together with their happiness and join that. We are only responsible for ourselves. Okay, yeah, we have some responsibility for our children. But for you in your life, and your life journey, as it is for your children and their life journey, we are responsible for ourselves. So this is where the self-reliance is. Planting the garden, what do you want that to look like? Do you want it to be a bunch of weeds or do you want to, it to be blossoming with beautiful flowers? Okay, very important, Cancer. Okay, so two cards for self-reliance for Cancer, please. Two cards for self-reliance. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Okay, so Page of Wands, yeah. Learning a different way of doing things, learning your passion, learning what you love. Right? What 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 is it that gets well, actually Trying different things out, okay? Um, because the thing is here, Cancer, is that I feel like there needs to be some joy and some fun, okay? Head here. Because there's so much of this going on, okay? And trying to get things moving so fast. And this this just needs to be more laughter and happiness and joy in your life to have some fun. To become playful, right? So we have Ace of Wands. Oh, I love this. I'm so pleased this came up because that's exactly what I was going to say um, because I had to wait for this card. Is you trying out different things to really understand what sets your soul on fire. This is all about you here, okay? And, um, and you really coming to this place of absolute bliss within yourself. And whatever else is going on around you is not going to weigh down on you like it has been in the past. Okay, and the last card we have here is knowledge. Seek knowledge. Okay, seeking knowledge. You see, this is trying out the different things that... Um, <sighs> The different things that you may like to discover to see what it is that you are passionate about. Okay, some of you may already know what that is. So it could be that you need to start um, actually aiming towards, you know, whether it's educating yourself on something so you can get to where you want to go, right? So that you can, you know, yeah, actually play around with that. Okay, so two cards, knowledge. Oh, wow, that was so quick. Yep. Um, I feel like this is about you building, building something. I feel like saying building your empire, okay, um, but creating something new in your life and getting people to help you with that. Could even be your children. It could be something that you work towards together, okay. Um, 
and we have the temperance here really getting um, balance in your life okay being patient with things looking at your purpose here cancer because um, this is ultimately really what it is all about right um, and I just have to read this card again you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed and this blessing could be you coming home to you okay cancer i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye